out so the the impacts that we have seen of the crosstalk on setup and hold timing those are real ones and while while going through this particular topic you will tend to relate what you have what you are what you have been doing in the industry and what you have been seeing over here so it pretty much relates with what the, the amount of work that you do in fixing crosstalk in identifying crosstalk in your setup and hold timing next finally when we have seen so much of crosstalk we have understood the crosstalk we need some techniques to fix the crosstalk either at the earlier stages or at the later stages so we need some ways to fix the crosstalk when i if pre pre start before starting the before starting the design itself or towards the end of the tape out we need ways we need techniques so these are real techniques that you can actually use in your in in your designs and and try to reduce the crosstalk to a very to a, to a level where it's not even visible within the it's not it doesn't falls in the range of the dc noise margin as well as the ac noise margin so there are techniques and ways to reduce it and finally we looked into a, a concept of power supply noise where where we actually understand that why the mesh structure of the power supply is really important